Hello and welcome to another unboxing with Tabletop for One. Today we are unboxing Warfighter, the Ammo Crate. This is a storage solution offered by DVG Games for your Warfighter cards. It is a rather large box. Um, it can hold thousands of cards. I'll go ahead and open it here and show you the inside. As you can see, it's very deep on the inside. It has plenty of room for the cards. And uh, even has room for the game boards and manuals. These are the game boards and manuals that come with the core set. And they fit rather nicely inside the box. Along with the storage solution, there comes two decks of cards, and we'll go over those right now. Here are the two decks of cards. Now, I own the Pacific Core set, and as I understand it, these cards here mainly apply to the um, the European core set. I do plan on eventually getting the European core set, so I have no problem owning these cards ahead of time. But also, um, it comes with cards that I hadn't had before, such as these um, service record cards. Um, as you can see, they're all listed for Europe, it's as noted in the corner here. Um, Nevertheless, uh, I'm looking forward to using these cards as much as I can with the set I have and in the future using them with the European core set. As you can see, it comes with a number of extra soldiers. Here's um, a whole stack of soldiers here. We've got some gear, some skills service records and then enemy the hostile forces as well as a few events I'm not going to go over the bigger stacks of cards here as you can see the hostile forces come from different countries um, it looks like these are harassing force cards um, these cards are the bane of my existence. <laughs> they constantly uh, shorten my mission time and I do not like that. So there's harassing forces for many different countries. There's reinforcing large squads for the Russian hostile deck. For the player soldiers here, there's several from the United States and other countries as well. There's non-player soldiers in here, and then the squad soldiers here. Obviously, I can add these to my Pacific Core without any issue, um, and I plan on doing that. The weapons. We get an M1919 machine gun, which of course requires a tripod. And comes with um, an M1 SMG. And then, do not know how to pronounce it, the Gewer 43 scope rifle. Also, comes with smoke grenades. I do not currently have this in my collection, so this will be helpful. Um, this card allows you to expend one smoke grenade during the next hostile turn. Soldiers in your location cannot be targeted by hostiles and cards not in your location. It's very helpful. And then the map. This is interesting. This adds two extra turns to the mission time. So that helps against those harassing force cards. Alright. The events that are included in this. There's an enemy convoy. Do one of the following. Pay 3 XP. Advance the timer counter one space or draw two hostile cards. Boy, do I hope I have the XP when I draw this card. Um, artillery support. 
you can discard any one hostile card. That is amazing. I'd want to check though if um, if we get the experience for that kill. I guess since it says discard, um, that it's not really counted as a kill, um, mechanically speaking. So I uh, doubt you get the XP for that. This one says uh, save this card, discard to cancel an event. That's helpful. All right, the skill cards. We have Zippo. Add one or two to your flamethrower attack rolls. Start with three extra fuel. Now I do not have any flamethrowers currently, um, but I will like that card when when I do end up having flamethrowers in my collection. This is good for rocketeers. Um, your your rocket launchers. You're gonna add two, uh, two or four to your attack rolls. Shooter. Add one to your ranged attack defeat cover rolls. So if you come up, combine this with riflemen or marksmen, this will really make you an effective uh, shooter. Hmm. And then uh, fast reload, pay one XP instead of an action to perform a reload. Um, and veteran soldiers only pay two for the skill instead of the four. All right, so the service record cards. These are new to me, as I understand, um, you pay this cost here, this resource cost, and then you get these abilities during the mission. So um, this is where the ABC tokens come in, I, I didn't know what they were for before, but as you can see it says ABC on here, it tells you how many times, so two, four, two, and um, you get to use these abilities as you play. So this one here lets you remove a suppressed twice during the mission. This one here gives you four XP. I'm assuming that's just straight up XP. And then uh, cool under fire, you get to discard and draw to full um, for free. So that's going to save you a lot of actions. I mean, that's one, two, three, four actions saved for seven resource points. Uh, let's see, let's look at a few more here. This one, support calls. Pay one disc card of a support card's cost. And you'll get three of those. So you could pay a full three cost support card just with this. Um, this also gives you one XP. And then pay, you get three of these, pay one discard of an entrance cost. That's helpful. It's only three resources. So it's going to save you a lot of cards. So maybe if you have a player soldier that doesn't have uh, combat experience and isn't drawing often, this might be a good option. Operation Cobra. All right, so you get one for take cover after rolling for a hostile attack, replacing your win results with a suppress. All right. Um, this one gives you another experience. And when paying an entrance cost, ignore the entrance penalties of hostiles. Um, we'll just look at one more here. Oh, the card's bent. It's too bad. That's all right. I'll be putting them in sleeves. <laughs> all right. This one here gives you two of house to house when entering the structure, gain plus two movement, two experience, and then two of street fighting. Um, before rolling, add two or four to range zero attack roll. Oh, and as you can see here, this um, also indicates who can have it player soldier, non player soldier, squad soldier. So some of these. No doubt, um, yeah, only allow a player soldier to have it. Looks like player soldiers can have most of them. And then, of course, they're for different countries as well. Uh, so there's a lot of new cards there for me to try out. Really looking forward to that. I'm really happy with the uh, ammo box. I, I like it a lot. 
I plan on organizing my cards. Oh, and I had forgotten that it comes with divider cards. And I do not know where I place it. Ah. <laughs> These are real nice. Um, so it's a thick form of plastic. Um, they are curved. Um, I tried to flatten them out a little bit. It doesn't seem to work, but that's okay. Um, but you get divider cards for just about everything. Soldier cards, hostile decks for front lines, weapon cards for the Russian weapons, soldier cards, uh, American weapon cards, location cards, action deck, UK hostile deck, Poland hostile deck, um, soldier cards, and so on, skill cards, mission cards, objective cards, more weapon cards, hostile decks, event cards, weapon cards, the rush, uh, location cards for Russia, and so on. Again, these um, are mostly uh, helpful to me, except for the ones that are location specific that I don't have those locations yet. But again, I do plan on getting the European Theater of Operations core set um, in the very near future. So I will put those to good use. Anyways, that is the unboxing of the ammo crate. Um, I don't remember seeing if this is available on DVG uh, website, but I wouldn't doubt that it is. Um, feel free to check it out there or your your local uh, game store. Uh, as a disclaimer, I purchased AMO Crate with my own money, so I have not been sponsored for this video. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. And uh, see me next time when I start unboxing some of the mini expansions. I believe I have the Korean um, expansions, the North Korea ones, as well as, let's see, I'll show you. I have China 1, 2, and 3, I have North Korea 1 and 2, and then... I have the Lovecraftian expansion. I'm really looking forward to opening up this one and seeing what's inside because I have not seen it yet. So I will be unboxing these in the near future. And then I will be moving on to uh, some other games as well. Uh, I have Rogue State coming and I'll be unboxing that. And uh, very soon I will do a review on Warfighter World War II, the Pacific Corps, and the expansions I have. Thanks again for watching, and have a great night. Thank you.